Philippine immigration reform is a hot topic these days, but what kind of reform is something that's still up for debate? New now at 5 o'clock, NBC4's John Caddis Klimak on a local group that wants to make sure that it includes a pathway to citizenship. Hundreds on the steps of L.A. City Hall representing 12 million undocumented immigrants looking for a path to citizenship. There are far too many people suffering. There are far too many families that have been split apart. Congresswoman Judy Chu says hearings on the subject will begin in the coming weeks in Washington. For thousands in Los Angeles, it's been a long time coming. Hey, uh, yes, At home in Chinatown, the Chung family continues its wait for other family members still navigating through the immigration process. Yeah, how old are, how old are. It's not easy, says Juan Lim Chung. She came to the U.S. in 1979 and is the primary caregiver for her 99-year-old father. In the South L.A. home of the Martinez family, Maria says they came illegally. Like everyone else, she says, crossing the border. As legal residents now, Maria hopes to one day be able to vote as a citizen. It's very important, she says, to help pass laws that will help our community. But the immigration issue has long been a tough battle, with many worried anything that looks like amnesty will only add to the problems. We have to stop pretending what the negative impact is upon places, mainly large areas, much like Los Angeles. Sam Zisselman is with a political advocacy group called Save Our State. He says he's not against immigration immigration, but believes the path to citizenship already exists. The current laws would work fine. They're just not enforced. As President Obama prepares to take the oath of office for the second time on Monday, millions will watch his next term to see just how far he'll go when it comes to immigrants in America. In downtown Los Angeles, John Kelly's Klimak, NBC4 News. When she showed up to work today, 